Today we are going to be making sensational herb bread. Here is the recipe. Got whole wheat flour, onion, oregano, rosemary, basil, salt, yeast, water, and molasses. And I've got all of my stuff ready to go. Salt, basil. I don't have any onion powder, so I'm going to take that onion, put it in my air fryer, dehydrate it, make my own onion powder. Powder, oregano, rosemary, whole wheat flour, and some yeast. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is peel this onion. And then I'm going to cut it into very small strips. After I drop it on the counter. So I'm just going to cut it as thin as I can so that when I put it in the air fryer, I can get them super crisp and I can powder them. I don't want any moisture in them whatsoever. And I think I will just go ahead and do more than I need so that I can keep some of this onion powder for later. If you haven't watched any other videos, I live in Thailand. I don't know why onion powder is difficult to find here. Maybe it's just the neighborhood where I live, but we're just going to take care of it by making our own. And we're going to take that and we're going to spread it around the air fryer. It shouldn't be on top of each other, but the bad thing about air fryers is they're so small. You can't really put a whole lot in there. That should do us just fine. Okay, while the onions are in the air fryer, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my instant yeast. Should be two teaspoons. Let me make sure that's a teaspoon. Yeah, two teaspoons of instant yeast. And one cup of warm water. And we need to let that sit for about 10 minutes, according to the book. I have never baked bread in my life before, so if I'm doing something stupid and you want to laugh at me, please let me know, because I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I just bought this cookbook. Seems nice and healthy, good fun, but I fully expect to burn things, blow things up, make things that taste horrible but at least try to have fun doing it. Like I'm probably not supposed to be stirring with this spoon. I'm sure somebody will tell me to get a whisk or something. Whatever, I'm gonna make bread. I'm gonna eat it whether it tastes like crap or not. So let's just let it go. We got our onions out of the air fryer and I'm just going to give them a little choppy chop. There's no way I'm going to get this to powder unless I got out the food processor, which I probably should do, but I kind of feel like it's bread. How can little teeny chunks of onion not be good in bread? It'll probably be disgusting, but hey, if you don't try, you don't know. This is messy. I think I should have chopped them. Uh, uh, sorry, I think I should have roasted them a teeny bit more. Some of them are super crunchy and they just fall right apart. But other ones, I can feel the firmness of a little bit of uncooked onion, which is not really what we want. But again, like I said, I'm eating this no matter what. So, good, bad, or ugly. Let's go down the hatch. And I'm gonna make another video. I'm gonna have this with the lentil soup from the same cookbook. So hopefully it's just gonna taste like lentil soup. 
All right, I've almost gotten through this. No blood. Got all my fingers still attached. I'm not the most patient person, so I'm always worried about just chopping off the finger. All right, we have got to almost be there. Okay, I am gonna call that onion powder. Woohoo! I've decided that those onions were just a bit too sticky and I'm worried that they're gonna clump up in the flour. So what I'm gonna do is just spread them out, throw them in the toaster oven, just dry them out a little bit and uh, make this process take 10 times longer than it should have. Okay, while those onions are burning, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my dry ingredients here. I need two and a quarter cups of whole wheat pastry flour. I don't know what pastry flour is, this is whole wheat flour. I have a feeling it's not gonna work that great, but there's no pastry flour. I looked it up online, it was insanely expensive and you can't get it. It will take weeks to get here. So there's one. Two and a quarter. That looks like, yeah, that's a quarter. Perfect, okay, and then what do we need? Onion powder, that's still burning in the oven. One and a half teaspoons of dried oregano. Oregano, one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano. One teaspoon dried rosemary. I don't know if it's supposed to be this leafy kind of stuff or if it's supposed to be ground. I feel like it should be ground up. Let's just do a little smushy smush. Okay, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so bear with me. At least I'll have clean hands after that. I think maybe a little bit more. Okay, basil. We gotta have one teaspoon dried basil. I'm a big basil fan. That would be enough. Half a teaspoon of salt. I got this fancy salt shaker, so I'm gonna put extra salt in there. Just to make sure this isn't healthy. And... What the hell am I doing? All right, so then we need the yeast and the water. But first I need to go check on my onions. Well, when I said that the onions were burning, I only meant to be joking, but holy Christ, those are, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to start again. Son of a... Actually, I got a better idea. Instead of starting again, screwing up some more onions, I'm just gonna use garlic powder. I mean, it's powder, right? Who doesn't like garlic? So this calls for two teaspoons of onion powder. I'm just gonna substitute garlic powder. I mean, what could go wrong? It looks like I screwed this up too. It says, in a separate bowl, mix together yeast, water, and molasses. I did not put the molasses. So what I'm gonna do is just put it in now. It's one teaspoon. Whoa, this is some thick stuff. I don't know, I guess it's the sugar for the yeast. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna just put this in here. And then I think I'm gonna have to wait for another 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling and you can stare at this for 10 minutes. As you can see, this yeasty stuff looks like it's pretty happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix together all this dry stuff. It says in the book that you're supposed to put some sort of hole here in the middle. 
I think this bowl's a bit bigger than they thought. So, all right, here we go. This is my first time making dough. Do re mi fa so la. Here we go. Oh, should I mix this? Son of a. I just feel like this isn't gonna work. Oh shit, was I supposed to mix it in slowly? I don't know. Let's just mix it. See what happens. It smells very molasses y. And it seems drier than I thought it would be. Wow, look at that. We got dough. Sort of. Getting excited. I think... I think I'm supposed to put my hands in there. Let's get dirty. I hope my hands are clean. says I should put it on the counter and knead for one or two minutes, but I feel like if I put this on the counter, it's just going to get the counter all dirty. And it doesn't knead like dough. It's not elastic at all. It's just like a bunch of stuff. See how it just rips apart? I don't know. I have a feeling it's because this is not pastry flour, it's just whole wheat flour. And I feel like this is just the consistency we're gonna get. And again, <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it in this bowl because why would I put it on the counter and get the counter all done? Seems kind of silly. Also, I don't know how I'm supposed to knead dough. Any dough kneading experts out there, give me a hand. I'm just mashing this up. I don't feel like doing any more. I'm gonna change anything. Can you over knead dough? Or under knead it? It's very complicated. Sticky! Get off my fingers! How much would this loaf cost if I just bought it in the store? I feel like not that much.
See, now it's just sticking everywhere. Hold on. Let me go get my pan. Oh, crap. Here's my pan. Hold on. I gotta wash this thing. Okay, I got my dough. I got my pan. It's clean. Apparently, I'm supposed to take this, put it on the pan. That looks like a loaf. Well, we don't look at that. Okay, apparently it's going to double in about an hour or so. So I'm trying to show it to you now and then show you the size. Here's my hand. Is it gonna double in an hour? Let's find out. Okay, it has been one hour and here is our bread. It's definitely gotten bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat pre the oven and throw this bad boy in. All right. Here she is. I'm going to just slide her off on the cutting board. It's about 30 minutes. And I guess, I don't know, what should I do? I guess I'm just going to cut a big kind of chunk off. Wow, it is thick. This is not, oh, that is definitely not done. Wow, I didn't know it was going to be so dense and thick like that. I'm gonna throw this back in the oven. Okay, I pulled it out of the oven again and I gave it about another 10 minutes. Oh, you can see the piece I cut off. That's probably not good. I think I'll live. Let's just check out this little piece here. Man, it is really crunchy on the outside. Ooh, it's hot. It's still a little bit, I don't know, is it done? It's like, it's moist on the inside. Let me just take a bite. Mmm. Wow, it's delicious. It's super thick. It's not like regular bread you'd buy at the store. That still looks like it could cook some more, but I don't know. It's delicious. I'm gonna eat it. See you later. Okay. This is the lentil soup out of the Whole Food Plant-Based Diet Cookbook or the Chinese China Study Cookbook. And uh, this bread that you see on top of it there is also from that book. It is delicious. And also you'll notice that I got a lime there as a garnish. It really, really puts a great taste on this soup and all dipped in this bread. Mm. It's so good. Super healthy. No meat, no fat, no oil. Just pure deliciousness.